So, Ryzen and audio applications. In this case, FL Studio. I'm running uh, 1800X at 3.9 on Asus Prime Pro board with BIOS 0504. It's running quite stable, but for now, this is what I have. And so far, the results are really, really good. I'm coming from a uh, Intel 3770K running at 4.6 GHz, quite an overclock I had there. And I was quite happy with that CPU. I could use it for around six years. And it was it was hard to reach 100% CPU usage. I really had to push it to reach that. The CPU ran really cool and the CPU ran really stable. Uh, so um, I just thought about upgrading to Ryzen for the main reason that it had eight cores and uh, also because the numbers were starting to look better and better. So I decided to just buy the stuff and try it myself, take the risk. And I'm really happy of the results so far. I'm gonna show you a video of a song and you can see here the CPU is choking at 99 100 CPU usage. And at this point I was just having dropouts like crazy. And this is running at 512 samples latency on my uh, Presonus Fire Studio project. I had to put it at 1000 samples latency to be able to play it without any dropouts. You can see the CPU usage is quite high. You can see it's running at 4.655 gigahertz. So there we go. Now this is the same song. I'm gonna go to the, the same bar 11 and let's just play it. So no dropouts at all. Now it's showing 90% CPU or so because OBS is running without OBS running. I get 85 or so, 80. It's quite good. It's like a 20% improvement. And no dropouts at all. So I can still work on this song and without any problems. There was another test that was quite, quite dramatic. Here I have this test I did with only Harmore instances in my 3770K running at 4.6 GHz. The point was to add instances until I had constant dropouts, not just a few, just constant dropouts, like, you know, impossible to work. And I could add as much as 42 instances of Harmore running at high quality, playing one note. Mm -hmm. So each instance of Harmore is running at perfect precision. And as uh, I run uh, 42 instances. So then I swap the hardware and I put Ryzen on the system. And this is the screenshot I took just right after overclocking a little bit and opening the same project. At 42 instances, which was the top amount I could with my 3770K, now I had 48 CPU usage, which was quite, quite a difference. Of course, I don't believe so much on tests that are like isolated tests. I believe more in real world projects but this was quite a, something anyway now with the Ryzen CPU I just continue adding more and more instances until I reach 89 of them so almost double I would say so that's quite a lot more plugins I could add on to this project so let's just open that again and play those 89 instances And I could stop now without so much problem. And if I put more four of them off, now I have no dropouts. So with OBS running, 
I can still play 85 instances, which is quite crazy. And you can see how the CPU is quite consistent with the CPU meter here. Now you can see all the CPUs going all the way up. And this for, I think, OBS is sharing the usage. That's why it doesn't go so high. But for some reason, this test is consistent with the CPU meter. But there you can see the improvement, right? I'm, I'm seeing this improvement across more or less everything I'm running. I was a little bit worried because sequencers run in real time, pretty much as video games. And seeing the video game benchmarks, I thought for a moment that maybe the audio results are, were not going to be good and I was going to be forced to return all the system and call it a flop. But the results are really good. And I would say if you're, if you right now, you're running a 3770K overclocked or any other CPU that's overclocked at around 4.6, I guess besides a 7777AK, I think it's worth the upgrade. And even if you are in the top KB lake now, you will benefit from a course definitely because you are going to be able to run more stuff um, as you run your audio application. Rendering in Handbrake it was cut in half, things that took three hours now take one hour and a half I just quickly show you the CPU Z benchmarks this is the 3770k and this is the Ryzen benchmark uh, so you can see there's an improvement in single core and quite a crazy difference when it comes to multi-threading we all know that now I still have some issues as everybody else has with memory. I cannot run it past 2133 MHz, though that memory is 300 MHz. But I'm running at 4 sticks. That is probably my limitation. These are the actual clocks for that memory. And this is the CPU speed now. I didn't touch the core voltage. This is all automatic. I just run this test from Asus, the Asus uh, AI tuner, AI suite. I just left it like that and I just run it, ran it, and my results was 3.925. I'm running on a Noctua cooler until I get my new bracket for my AIO cooler. I could see the temperatures now are 69. I could see with the BIOS 0502, the temperatures were around 45. And then when I went to the new BIOS, it was automatically 65. And of course the temperatures didn't go as uh, just all of the sudden didn't go crazy up. It was just an offset that was applied and AMD confirmed that. So I'm assuming my CPU is now running at 49. Uh, besides that, the audio drivers are a mess still. I mean, not, not super broken, but I couldn't record from the line in for around 45 minutes. I thought it was the cable. I thought it was that I plugged it in the wrong socket. But it, at some point I was like, yeah, this has to be the BIOS. This has to be drivers because there's no other explanation. Everything runs and the cable is okay and it's plugged in the right place. So it was until I touched here and I changed it to AC97 and then it started to work. When then I went back to HD audio and it's continuing to work. I guess if I reboot, it's gonna reset and I have to do that again. But Asus, you have to look at that. The, the line in is not working well. I may wait until, until a couple months 
May, in May, uh, Asus is releasing vendors to update their BIOSes, so maybe we are going to be running the memory at the speed it should run. I think I should be able to run it at 2933, is it? I'm, I'm waiting for updates on the BIOS and everything and be able to run my water cooler system again. Uh, hopefully I have better scores and better clock speeds and everything, better RAM speed too later. So I think for now that's all. Um, of course feel free to ask me if you want me to test something. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, doing a new report uh, around May when we have new biases and more stability overall but I would say if you are wondering about upgrading to a Ryzen CPU if you're running music applications I don't think there's any reason not to do it honestly so thumbs up for that and see you next time